All right, you got challenge A3 coming up. If I were starting this thing, I would draw a rectangle to start, right? And it would be a four by three rectangle. Then I would probably cut out these little triangle pieces right here that we see. And it's right there. There's the dimension for it. And then we've got our one and a half and then one inch from the right side. So we can draw that and then you would need to do the same on the other side. Then we've got our holes, there's four of them, and they're an eighth inch in diameter. And then we got placement, how far from the bottom right there, and then how far from the edge, one and a half. And so we can draw those out. Pretty straightforward little piece there. Okay. And so let's take a look at the next one. We've got, um, if I was gonna draw this, I would start by making these central holes and then put these on in one sketch and then make sure that the distance was correct between them. And then after that, right, on the same sketch, I would, I'll just draw in a different color though, I would draw a line kind of like right through here and then right through here. And then I would make them tangent, right? So, and the symbol is like a circle with a line. So you use the tangent constraint right there on both sides. And that'll slap it down in. And then we can extrude it. Um, and you know, this one's there, but it's not really relevant. Then we could extrude it and we would be at this thickness right there, an eighth inch. So what would I do on the next one here? I would probably start with the circles again. So I would draw each of those circles, right? Eighth inch diameter and kind of kind of place them about where they're at, right? And then these ones can be vertical from each other. And then this one's just kind of out here. We don't want to constrain it right just yet. Then I would um, figure out how far apart they're going to be, right? So we could use those as we start to dimension this thing. Okay. Then we can also make the outside circles, right? So we've got this dimension out here for it, and then 3 16ths on each one of those. And then we will have uh, some circles there, right? Then from there, I would draw my lines. I would draw a line out here on each edge, right? And then again, using our tangent constraint that looks like this. And then we, I would put a tangent constraint between the circle and the that line right there. And then I would do it on each one of those and it would slap right to the side of each one of those. And then lastly, I would go and extrude it, right? For an eighth inch. That is the process I would go through. All straightforward, simple one. And again, start with those inner uh, circles and make sure they're two inches apart. We would make sure they're horizontally across from each other. Then I would draw these circles, right? Get those circles. And then next again, we're using our tangent lines again. And we get, you know, we could draw them way out there always and then use our tangent symbol again, constraint to connect this to the outside of those, right? And then do that on all four positions. And then we pretty much be done and um, extruding right here, eighth inch again. Everything's an eighth inch. Lastly, on our assembly, we've just got um, a bunch of holes, right, that need to be lined up. And then we're going to be using our uh, revolute, revolute constraint, right, on each one of those until it functions correctly. We can only move one side at a time, but we'll be able to swing those back and forth, everything connected. So look forward to seeing your final product. Good luck. Catch you later.